Sunday is Veterans Day, but what does that actually mean for those who've served? Capital Lands Dan Santella asked that question tonight to two men who served our country in different conflicts during fundamentally different times. Dan? Well, Don, tonight at VFW Post 628, I sat down with two veterans. One served in World War II in Korea, and one served in Vietnam. Their answers about what Veterans Day means today in 2018 are as distinctly different as the time periods and conflicts in which they served. 93 year old Doug Starr of Sioux Falls served in the Navy in World War II in Korea. He says now Veterans Day is bigger. I think it's beginning to mean more than it did when I was a new veteran 50 years ago <laughs> uh, because there were so many of us. Many years have since passed. But now, there are fewer of us, uh, and, and War II people are dying off like crazy. He says the celebration of Veterans Day is different now than it used to be. Because uh, back then, there was not all of this uh, hoorah and shaking hands and all that sort of thing. You're a veteran? Okay, sure, you're a veteran. 69-year-old Mark Williamson of Gerritsen served in the Marine Corps in Vietnam. He is a Purple Heart recipient. He says the meaning of Veterans Day can be lost. I, I just feel that it's become, you know, more of a, a good day to get out of school or get off work, and more so than what the actual meaning of Veterans Day is. You know, and that's to honor those who have served and those who have gone before us. Williamson and Starr are veterans of different conflicts. World War I, World War II, those guys were well respected. They were known. They came back to their communities. They knew where you had been. A far cry from the Vietnam War. When you first came home, you didn't even want people to know you were a you know, Vietnam veteran because you weren't very well you know, respected back then or welcomed. Williamson wants veterans to receive more respect. You know, if it weren't for the veterans of today and the veterans of the past, you know, there probably would be no tomorrow. You know, so... I, I just don't think that the proper respect is shown to uh, veterans. I think maybe it's getting better. And tomorrow at that VFW Post 628, there will be a Marine Corps birthday ball. Check out this story at Kelland.com for details. And this Sunday, you can watch our special presentation of Veterans Voices. It will air at 9 a.m. on MyUTV. For those of you in the Black Hills, you can catch the special at 12.30 Sunday afternoon on the CW. The stories will also air during a special edition of Inside Kelland after the late local news Sunday night. Thank you, Dan.